Hello guys, it's only me. Just thought I'd make this video. Just thought I'd make this video because every Thursday we get the folks in Herald. So obviously this is Thursday, May the 20th. £1.50. Can't believe it. But why I bought it was for the front page which said mass protest plan at Napier Barracks. Close the camps will bring coach loads of campaigners to join asylum demonstration this weekend. Page 10. Oh, really? Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, okay. So I'm going to read out this story and, you know, I'm going to give my own opinion. But it starts, campaigners set to protest camp home for migrants, asylum seekers house in barracks by James Juber. Oh, you're new. You're new, mate. I don't know who you are, but there you go. You're new. Fresh protests are being planned against the use of former military site Napier Barracks that is currently housing asylum seekers in Folkestone. Well, if it was good enough for the Gurkhas and if it was good enough for our army veterans, I think it's good enough for them. But oh, there we go. Here we go again. Many migrants crossing the English Channel are taken to the barracks, but critics who argue that the Home Office are keeping people in inhumane conditions are fighting for it to be closed. I want it to be closed. I don't want this happening on my doorstep. The Close, Camp, Close the Camps UK are organising the demonstration for this weekend and are putting on coaches from London to maximise the number. Oh, OK. So you don't actually live in Folkestone, but you're all a bunch of twirlies, liberal lefties that are guardian reading champagne socialist sipping. No, I'm not having that. They said the UK's Home Office is using abandoned army barracks to house vulnerable people. Vulnerable people. Really? Really? Asylum seekers being forced to live in prison-like conditions with no release date and in complete violation of their fundamental human rights. This is a call to action. Right. Forgive me if I'm wrong. Forgive me if I'm wrong. But the definition of a prison means that you are locked up and you're not allowed to go anywhere. Right? You're behind the bars. Mm, no. Barracks, you can, you, they're, they're allowed out at eight. They have to be back by 10. So how is that a prison? How is that a prison? Right, in prison, you don't get clothing allowance. You don't get a few quid in your pocket every single week. Rubbish, 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 rubbish. Yet more rubbish. On Saturday, May the 22nd, we will travel to Kent. We will show them that they are not alone and they are not forgotten. Right. <laughs> Oh, you can't make this up. We'll offer our care and friendship, practical support, and any experience we can share. We will tell them that their struggle is our struggle against racist borders and a violent state. Um, forgive me if I'm wrong again, but I don't think France is a war-torn country. I don't think that there's any civil war in France. Either way, uh, the organisation responsible will also pledge to offer legal support and help to run craft activities to keep those inside the camp entertained. The protest will take place between 2pm and 6pm. Right, OK. Well, guess what? Close the camps, UK. I'm going to be up there. I'm going to be up there. Thank you for telling me when it is. I'm going to be up there and I'm going to be filming live. I'm going to be making my videos just to, just to actually say this is... My house, my home, where I live, you don't. You've already said that you are from London, from London, right? We will travel to Kent. Right, okay, so come on, come on. Come on then, close the camps, UK. I look forward to seeing you. I look forward to seeing you guys. I look forward to seeing you. There you go.